what's happening everybody first and foremost i want to wish everybody a merry christmas that's coming up this weekend coming hopefully everybody has a great christmas spends quality time with family but uh, today we're going to be switching it up here we're actually not going to be doing any work on the old blazer this is on standby for a second we're going to be turning our attention to the old el camino here which is underneath the car cover as you guys can see we're gonna get it uncovered. I got some tools and uh, I think a jug of fuel in there inside that I gotta get out of it. We're gonna have to uh, take this 10 by 20 um, covered uh, carport slash storage area deal here that my boy gave me. We're gonna have to get it outside. I got a couple things here I gotta move around and dig out my hitching for my trailer. Then we got to go out back. Matter of fact, I need to go out here and see uh, how much snow is actually on the old trailer. Yeah, we're going to have to shovel that off too. Well, we're going to take the Tahoe back, uh, hook up to the trailer, shovel the snow off it, and uh, get the trailer moved up front here. because Mr. Tony at the transmission shop, uh, he bought a new house, which is awesome. Congratulations, Mr. Martin, on your new house. He's right around the corner from us, uh, probably not even five minutes away from me, but it's got a nice big empty pole barn on the property, and uh, he's got his 63 short, or uh, 63 pickup in there, his dad's short box uh, 65 pickup in there. His 77 Trans Am's in there already. And uh, he said if I want, we could bring the El Camino over and store it for the winter over there. That way we can get, you know, we have more room in the shop here and we can do some more work on the Blazer painting wise uh, and not have to worry about overspray. Plus I'll be able to get the wife's truck in here and uh, get some maintenance done to it as it needs. And I also want to get our car trailer in here and walled up some brackets uh, to mount a winch up. Uh, so that's awesome. We'll have a spot out of sight, nice area for the El Camino that nobody's going to mess with. Uh, that way it'll give us more room in the shop. So that's our game plan for the day. We're going to get the old El Camino uncovered. Get that building outside, or whatever it is, storage area outside, and then we're going to go hook the trailer up and uh, fire this old girl up and get it on the trailer and get it over there. So that's our game. We got her dusted off and uh, battery charger hooked up. So I'm gonna let that charge up just enough to go get the trailer hooked up and get it back out onto the road. And then when we come back in, it should be good. I mean, it was still reading 12 seven, so it's good. I always unhook the, bat uh, the battery cables on, on here anyway. You know, this is an old wiring harness. I just don't trust it so but battery's holding good so let's go out back and get the trailer and bring it up and get the snow shovel off it and uh see if we can get this thing fired up and load it on the trailer yeah we're supposed to be getting uh 16 inches of snow in a couple days today is tuesday so we have to get this done today and then that way i'll be able to get the uh front clip put back into the the shop there that way it don't uh, get a bunch of snow and ice froze to it slide out here yep 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I ain't got my seat belt on. Well, there ain't that much snow on here, I guess. All right, I'm gonna get this hooked up. I'll bring you guys right back. All right, we got her hooked up. She's a bombing. 24 degrees out right now. Little on the chilly side. Got the smoke rolling off the chimney. Wood stove doing work. Fence over, don't make sure I don't hit the front clip. Get her out here where we usually park to load and unload. Get ready to wake the neighbors up. All right, we'll bring it right back. All right, I know I'm gonna have to dump uh, at least a couple gallons of fuel in here. Oh yeah, she's low. When you're racing, run as least amount of fuel as you can. It saves weight. I got. Couple gallons left in here. Be enough for what we got to do. I'm going to go see if the wife will come out and film for me and, uh, See if this old girl's gonna fire her up.
goes. She's all loaded up. I only got one strap on it. We're only going around the corner, but she's going away for the winter. That way we can work on the blazer and have some room. Man, I still need to get this rubber off them quarters. Yoch. But there she is, all loaded up, ready to go. We'll bring it back when we get We're just going to wait till he gets home at 5.30 and then we'll come back and move it. And I might have to bring my casters and we got to get that bench out of there. But uh, for now, whew, I think that's how you catch in the morning, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll catch you when we're at the tranny shop. All right. We just uh, went in there and talked to Tony about the train or the El Camino told him I got it dropped off over there the wife's at her meeting down the road for her store meeting and uh, Tony said uh, he'll give me a call either tonight or tomorrow and we'll go over there probably have to take my casters and uh, we're gonna move that Trans Am around and uh, get everything organized he's still uh, still got a shit ton of cars here here's that little uh, I think it's a 78 or a 77 short box step size F100 it's got uh, a freshly rebuilt uh, well, I don't know if it's rebuilt, but it's got a new camshaft and gaskets in it. That's got to go over into that garage or Tony's pole barn over there yet, too. But, man, this guy stays busy over here. Let me tell you what. He's got my tranny all done. I got to get the valve body um, and uh, the valve body for it, and it'll be all ready to go. So that's pretty awesome. But we're going to head back down to the wife's work and pick her up. She should be ready to go, and uh, we'll bring you guys back when we get back to the house.
All right, we just got to the wife's work here. Picked her up from her meeting. Did everything go as planned? Yeah. You're not doing gift exchange till when? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Someone called in sick, so we're going to do it tomorrow. Yeah. So we're going to head back towards the house and get the trailer unloaded. Like I said, the Al Camino's all at Tony's. We've got to do some rearranging, and uh, but Tony said it probably not today maybe tomorrow or towards the weekend but we're supposed to be getting 16 inches or better of snow on thursday so i had to get that over there today so one thing down that'll give me a lot more room in the shop huh yeah. kind of hard hard to see it go though having your own garage and uh you're taking your car somewhere else to have it stored but we got to do a lot of painting on the, the blazer the cage and stuff like i said so I'm just happy that I ain't going to have to worry about overspray and all that. But we're going to head back towards the house. Anything you want to say to the people? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year if I don't see you. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be live this uh, um, this Saturday do, being it's Christmas Eve. Um, I don't know. We probably be, might be going over to the boys and doing Christmas over there on Christmas Eve. And then just staying home for Christmas. But... Uh, we definitely will be going live on New Year's Eve. Uh, I don't think we have any plans, do we? I know of, yeah. Um, if we don't have any plans of going out, um, I, we usually don't go out and, and party. We're, we're getting old. Well, at least I am. She still looks like she's 20, so um, good for me. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to get back to the house and unload this trailer, and uh, we'll bring you guys back uh, when we get there. All right, everyone, we just rolled back to the house. I got the trailer put up way out back where it goes. It's out of the way. That way, if we get the 16 to 18 inches of snow that they're calling for on Thursday and into Friday, Tony said he'd roll up in here with his plow truck and plow me out. So only thing left I got to do is uh, go in the shop, uh, get the blazer off of the jack stands and the car ramps and put it back on the casters. That way I can slide it towards uh, you know the other side where the El Camino was sitting. And uh, we're going to give the shop a good sweeping and blowing out. Uh, that's the only thing bad about running wood stoves is uh, you get a lot of dust and dirt from it. You know, from splitting in the wood in the back and carrying it in and out and blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, now that the El Camino is gone, I'm going to give the shop a good cleaning, uh, sweeping, blowing out with the leaf blower. And then we're going to drag, uh, have the boy can boy come out and help me get that front clip sat in there that way it can thaw out uh, before this big storm hits because I really didn't want it out there anyways when all this snow and ice hit and it gets a chance to get froze to the ground and uh, not good so all this deal with Tony getting his keys to his new place last Friday turned out excellent I'm glad he thought of me and the El Camino to you know be able to store the car over there for the winter that's what true friends are all about but uh this video is getting kind of long, guys. I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, as usual, I really appreciate everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.